battle. And we're back, finally, after a quick remake to help get the ping issue under control. It's going to be Zephyr taking on Scythe in a must-win game for Scythe. Their only hope of making it, in, making it into the second phase of the SEA qualifier comes with the win here and winning out all the way and hoping for a big shakeup at the top. Zephyr, well, they, uh, they haven't had the best of couple of days. Last 48 hours been brutal, and they're already out of the running, but still playing for pride. Welcome in once again to the cast, Bulba and Bulba Man. Offlane, uh, offlane, sexy Bambo Rubik. Yeah, ba Bambo actually changed his uh, word spot. Um, last game he had the word all the way in the right side next to the, mm -hmm. the medium camp, and then this game he, he put the word on the to block the big the Enigma's big camp here. So, uh, a bit change up, and he's hiding here. Typical Bambo spot, I guess. <laughs> One of those Bambo slash demon spots, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hiding the trees. But uh, I wonder what um. The battle begins. I mean, tree is one of those heroes. I feel when you're playing support that. Very few t teams really run properly. I, I think the the way you use Tree, you have to play, like kind of force the issue early on. Like he's just su such an aggressive hero. I mean, you you can just play him like you can just run at stuff basically, and just, <laughs> you you have this imbalanced heal. I feel mm -hmm. you are so tanky and you so do insane right click damage. I think one of the best teams that play with him right now is EG. Oh yeah. So I wonder how the trees what what purge is going to do right now to utilize it and. Tree, I think another 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 run strange. at mid. Okay. Polsun could be in trouble. Bambo found himself an illusion. Not that they needed it. The reactions and the rotations so good. He will drop a remnant. Glimpse is there though. Level one glimpse. Pretty good ability in sexy Bambo. Gets a nice start to that off lane Rubik. He's setting up to run. Gets the first blood himself. Yeah, great rotation there from the Rubik. Um, Bambo make, doing work with the with the off lane Rubik. He's yeah. Basically roaming around and he got an illusion rune as well. So. Blitz is gonna start off with a good start here. He has Bloodbath level one. I don't know if this. Is, I don't really know what the right Bloodseeker will. I think most Bloodseekers they just max the third spell right now after getting one level one and Look two. At, this is so, so smart. Bambo yeah. is beating away at these Eidolons and slowing down uh, Chibik so much, and he's actually gotten a fair amount of gold. Yeah, the, he's gonna walk away with like a hundred gold from nothing but last hitting with those uh, those illusions. He got Look. the small centaur and he got a lot of oh courier snipe perhaps incoming. Yeah, curry. Oh god. I have, I have nightmares about this career. <laughs> Dude, oh, I got to admit, nightmare. when that happened, all all throughout the America's qualifiers, teams anticipated him, would run the courier weird oh, ways no. and keep him safe, and yep, there you go. So he's it's actually kind of lucky because he's sending it to the Enigma first, and then he's sending I don't know if he would have sent it directly to Ben, and he's yep. actually going to be in trouble again from yep. Bambo. Polison, silenced out. Trying to get away. Will they dive him out? The courier is right there. Oh they didn't God. snipe him. Eosin's he, right there next what, to the courier. What, 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 Why? Eosin? Now we see oh Bambo coming over. Finally, they do get the courier. They lose Bambo for it. Eosin likely to die here as well. They may be able to get Polison too. Those Eidolon damage is way too high. That was really just kind of bizarre across the board. <laughs> what is going on right now? Yeah, dude? that was just strange. Oh my god, this is so funny. They could have killed. He could have killed the courier and left. Instead, they end up feeding two for it. Yeah, look at Storm. He actually went. He actually came really, really low just with the bloodbath level, and Blitz is actually leveling up bloodbath. Yep. I don't know if this is the right build. Uh, he has no <laughs> levels in thirst. I don't know about this, but <laughs> I guess he just doesn't care. He's just gonna spam. Well, he wants to get the duration up, and it's it, it's gonna be spam like you said, spammable. You can just spam it on the storm. Yeah, but and I, out. I feel at least getting one level in thirst of the game quite helps quite a bit, especially because um it gives vision of the enemy hero that's low, and it's right now it's it actually it's fifty percent, and the 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 actual AoE of it's so big, it, you can basically see any here on the other side of the map. He's gonna get a. Yeah, finally, he gets to the level one in thirst, and he gets a haste rune. But right now, the the offline Rubik is actually doing work, and getting the chicken killed is really big there, because um, just the amount of gold it gives for your team, and the it gave Aosin at least one level. I think he he got the. Was yeah. it Bambo or, or? I think it was Aosin. Oh, actually, no, it was Bambo that got was the. Was it Did he actually get it? Okay. Yeah, and look at Bambo. He actually got the. He has a mana boost. They're gonna go on him. Disruption there to lead. Got him. Miracle, gonna rush up on him and try to block him in. Nice telekinesis, buys him enough time to get back under his tower. Still eating a lot of auto attack damage. Two stacks of the oh. Shadow Poison, not enough to bring him down. Got him down to below 50 HP though, so I gotta say, Bambo's doing all right on this offlane Rubik. He's actually doing work. He screwed up the Enigma's jungle. Yeah. Enigma's actually level four. I think or, uh, around this time, you, you're you hitting around level five, hitting us. Le you wanna be around the same level as the mid hero on Enigma, mm -hmm. I feel. And Blitz is hitting level five. And Enigma usually hits level 5 around this time. 
but he's actually gonna go push bottom. And Bamboo gets Bamboo's living on the living life Jeez. on the edge right now. He really, he's really is. Low HP. One lucid beam will just about kill him. In yeah, the but there's no mana right now on the Luna, so he he knows that. And looking at Aos, and he's actually going around and trying to get top lane. They're trying to push on the um the Nyx. I wonder if they can kill him. Yeah, Nyx is actually gonna die here. They overlap a little bit. There was an ensnare as well as a leech. See, Aosin's right there to help out. Yeah. So playing a little too aggressive on the side of Zyph. And they're trying to push bottom. Bambo staying right in range. The Eidolon's doing a lot of push damage, but up at top, the tier one is likely to drop very soon too. It's below half health already. Yep, the, that was a questionable play there from the Nyx, I feel. Uh, he played so cocky in the lane, because they actually have a, a ward here as well. I don't know if he's, I, I don't know if, I forgot if Aosin, he didn't smoke for that as well. And he just literally walked up and went around. Yep. So that was quite questionable play from the Nyx there, just playing so cocky, especially because he knew that the disruptor rotation was coming in. And looking at Blitz's level, he's actually going to hit level 6 really fast. And then he also has a haste rune in his bottle. So with the haste rune, they can get a pretty good pickoff. They can even kill the Luna, I feel. Mm -hmm. Especially because that um, Bloodseeker is one of those heroes. You obviously counter him by buying a TP scroll. But <laughs> yeah, it's all it takes. 135 gold. Yeah, and then the, however, they have the stun on the Rubik. So yep. I feel this combo of both Bambo and um, Blitz can actually solo kill Miracle right now. And they have no ward in the lane on Miracle's lane. So he cannot Blitz can TP down instantly and just go get a really good kill on Yeah, and look look right now, he's TPing in. Alright, setting it up. Bambo still very low. And he's gonna go for it. There's the rupture. And Miracle doesn't have a TP, so didn't even need the Rubik, but certainly does help. High priority kill, especially given the Luna and the Naga Siren. We're farming very close to each other, bringing down the Luna. Certainly going to give them a nice jump in mid. Aosin in trouble, uses the glimpse, but doesn't matter. What? One Aosin last just off. popped the smoke randomly there when he was dying. Yeah. You know Panic smoke. Tower. Panic yeah. smoke. That happens. <laughs> but that was a really good rotation there from Blitz, getting TPing down. The Luna, Miracle is playing so cocky in lane. He, you know that when you know that the enemy Bloodseeker is going to hit level 6 and you're playing that far up, and you don't even have a TP scroll just in case. That was so cocky from him, especially because the Bloodseeker went into fog, and it's quite expected he's going to try and TP into a lane of gank. So that was uh, a gank I feel that Miracle could have avoided. Mm -hmm. And right now, looking at the Naga's farm, he's actually completely uncontested, and he has a kill. Yep. So he's going to get this a really fast relic. And yep. once... Ar already yeah. has 2k, like very, very close to the relic. Yeah, right. and Cory is... Corey's farming extremely low right now, and I don't know, if this Naga gets a really fast Relic, I don't know what Scythe can do. And once Aosin gets the levels up, they have this Naga Disruptor combo, which is going to be incredibly strong versus Scythe as heroes. They can just sleep in and initiate with the Disruptor ulti and the Disruptor kinetic field. So Scythe, it's really up to Scythe right now to make the plays, and I just don't feel they're doing enough work right now. Enigma still not level 6 at 7 minutes in. This is really slow far, uh, jungling from Enigma. And I feel this is probably to blame because of Bambo's um, kind of hindrance early on in the jungle. Oh, for sure. And they had to rotate him out. And yes, he helped push the tower, and that's a nice infusion of gold. But that's still time spent away from the jungle. And they're having to make sure he's available for defensive purposes as well, in case something does happen. Like you said, Corey is farming amazingly. He's at 42 CS. Luna at 39 right behind him, but it already has died once. And uh, the good news for Scythe is they do have the Nyx Assassin to level 6. Pretty sure he just hit it. If not, he'll be there momentarily. And he's going to be able to start getting active along with uh, that Storm Spirit to try and make something happen. Yeah, he's going to be level 6 in just a minute. But um, early game, seven and a half minutes in, who do you think uh, the lanes have favored thus far? Definitely Zephyr. Just, and looking at mid, they might go on the Storm. Yep, Storm has no mana. Because they, they have a ward on the enemy's hill. Radiant has a ward on Dire's hill. But also, does, Zephyr doesn't really want to go on the Storm because they don't know what the enemy's supports are. Mm -hmm. And Enigma hit that really crucial level, level 6. However, he's still not farming, uh, and they're going to actually go for the smoking. They really want to kill this Naga. I think that's the big hero they need to kill right now, because if they let, if they don't burst down the Naga instantly, he's going to get off it, and okay, Naga's actually going to... Yeah, he's got sleep really if he passive. needs it. So if they want to take a run at him, they have to overlap things perfectly. We're actually going to see a haste room that's going to be bottled up by Blitz. In the meantime, they're going to go ahead and jump right on him. Naga! Wow. No sleep! Overlapping the black hole just to be safe. Certainly worthwhile to use the ultimate there to make it a one-for-one one exchange, at least in terms of how the uh, carries have died. Arc Boots come out off of that. Nyx Assassin finds his. And Blitz is still farming away in mid, and they're going to end up pushing this top tier one. Don't know that they're going to contest it, but I want to talk a minute about the Bloodseeker. It's a fun pick, and we laugh during the draft and all that. There has to be a game plan for this other than just silence the storm. What's his build going to be, and what's his overall approach to the game going to be? I think um, the most popular... Uh, 
there's four staffs and then there's blade mails and then but he does need a BKB versus the enemy hero. The, the enemy hero. There's so much magic damage on the enemy team that if he just runs into the fight and tries to go on people with thirst, he's just gonna get melted by the the spells. And that was a really good rotation there from Ninigma. I felt in the laning phase that Zephyr was just a bit ahead because the Naga was uncontested while the Luna had died. But after that rotation from the Enigma and the other the the storm. That was, um, they ca and getting the top tower. Right now, it's Saith up in the lead. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, Luna did die early on, the Naga's... Uh, killing the Naga when he's trying to get that relic is really big. Yep. And especially that Cory doesn't have a bottle. Does he have a bottle? No. Yeah, so he has no regen right now. And that's one of the problems with safe play Naga if you don't go bottle. You don't have that sustain. And I think you need the bottle right now to farm with Naga. So Cory has to eventually buy a bottle if he wants to actually farm. Or else he's just going to be in the situation. And well, Polson has two Null Talismans here. <laughs> Multiple Null Talismans. I was just going to say, by the way, that um, Scythe's build and approach right now, you can tell it's very much oriented on trying to carve the map up as opposed to trying to five-man push. They go with uh, the Blink Dagger approach on the Enigma as opposed to going Mechanism first. And usually that's because, obviously, you want to be trying to just get uh, targets of opportunity more so than just get together down the lane and try to push. Do you think that's the right choice? And do you think that that's going to favor them against Zephyr's lineup? I actually have no idea why he went the Blink Dagger. I don't agree with it at all. I think if they just get a really fast mech and then just go push all their See, powers... I was thinking the same thing. Like yeah. The only thing that makes sense tower, is if they just attack. plan to really just carve it up and just try to gank their way to success and for the next 10 But they really don't need to. It's They can force the issue. They don't, they don't need the Enigma to be the one that's... Like, the Enigma just has to buy the mech and go BKB. And I feel Zephyr is going to be the one that's going up on them. But, like, there is the tree LT to really stop the BKB. No. But I just feel like the, the BKB is good enough just because there's going to be the Naga Disruptor combo. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of questioning the Blink Dagger. But I guess if he just wants to play like that, it's fine. And the Storm's going on. Yep, oh, he's oh. going to turn it around with the Vortex, though. Uses his Illusion Room, continuing to bounce around. Got enough support behind the tower, though, that Zephyr is going to actually go for the Glimpse and the Disruption. Let's see. Yes, he will be able to make it out of way. And uh, looks like, yeah, Bambo actually managed oh. to get his Lightning. And now Aosin hit with the Demonic Purge behind that. Miracle tracking him down, and yeah, Bambo's way out there. He's actually going to go ahead and use Ball Lightning to get to safety up on the high ground. So fortuitous steal that he didn't put to use until that very moment, but that's what he needed. In the meantime, top lane, Corey going to die solo to the Nyx Assassin. The Vendetta coming into play. If they can keep ganking that Naga Siren out, Miracle is farming quite well. He's right on pace with the Naga. Has now, uh, Miracle has died once. The Naga has died twice. So uh, yeah, I actually feel like Sai's doing quite fine here. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, the problem comes back to that. Naga, he needs some form of a, like, Dyer's you can rush the relic, but when you're rushing attack. the relic like this, you need some support. You can't just farm out the, like, you can farm out the lanes, but he's basically, like, they're basically not ca counter ganking him at all, and there's a lot of heroes on the other team that can kill him. And without the bottle, he has no form of regen to farm fast, so I do think the bottle would have helped him quite a bit in this scenario. Uh, just It's a 600 investment in, and he can ultimately keep bottle coin. Because look at Zephyr's hero. There's literally no other hero on the team that really needs the bottle. Mm -hmm. And uh, Aosin's finally getting the levels he needs bottom. He's still level 4. He's level 4 at 12 minutes on the support disruptor. And this is one of the support heroes that, that probably needs the levels the fastest. Because the level 6 disruptor is so much stronger than the oh, level 4 disruptor. So strong. Blitz is winning in levels. You can see he's level 10. Polisoon will find himself a DD. Blitz is going to be there. Gets Vortex. He's feeling very tanky in his face though. Throws off the silence and That'll be enough to bring an end to that little fight. Twelve and a half minutes in. Let's take a look at our overall goal graph and see where these teams stack up. About 2,000 in terms of gold earned in favor of Scythe right now. And, yeah, I think that's about what we'd expect. Very even game for the most part. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we can see the Comparing the offlaners, though, check out Bambo's net worth compared to the Nyx's. Bambo has a Blink Dagger, Mana Boots yeah. versus a Shadow Demon Luna dual lane. Like that's pretty insane. He has such a fast blink dagger. He's gonna. It's really up to Bamba right now to make the plays. He can steal the. There's actually a quite a good. There's a lot of good spells to, to oh, steal yeah. on sight this team. There's the black hole first off, and looking. Oh, hang on, engagement on the Eos and it dies for free, and Hana has been doing a great job of just basically being patient. He has him. He's not been rotating all the way across the map with Vendetta or anything. He's just been taking what's given to him up in top lane, and it's been working out. Yeah. The. Them. The Nyx is, even though he's not, he didn't farm that well in the off lane. He he's making the plays. He killed Corey solo, and he just picked off Aosin. And Aosin is still level five. They really needed this disruptor to get level six. Yep, they're on. They're going to engage on the Corey, blink him with the Malefice. Vendetta follows. 
Mana Baron was there and immediately we see the tree armor taken away. Bambo's gonna re-engage though. See what he stole and manages to steal Malefus, uses it on Chibix as he's gonna be trying to retreat. The Eidolons are doing a fair amount of damage. It looks like they don't want to try to engage, but there's gonna be a rupture that ends up killing the Enigma. Hana just gonna TP right in his face in the meantime. So good rotation from Blitz makes that a 1-0 exchange in favor of Zephyr that time around. In the meantime though, Luna was also taking those Ancients. Yeah, Thirst is doing work this game. He's just letting Blitz find all these pickoffs and he's actually the most farmed hero on the map. Mm -hmm. However, I think that's going to change quite fast once some um, miracle. I mean, Miracle is like you said, he's farming really well right now. Mm -hmm. And he just got the helm to stack the Ancients. He, has he converted a creep yet? Can't really see on the map. No, he has not converted No, a I creep think he yet. just got it. Yeah, yeah, he literally just spent his gold. No, no, he already had the helm. He, oh, did he? Yeah, so he just he, bought something else then. Weird. He, had, he, didn't, he wasn't stacking the Ancients with the helm creep. I'm wondering why. But the Luna with the helm, it just farms insanely fast. You can always jungle. And. Uh, it's one of those exponential farmers, meaning the more you leave him alone, the more he farms and right. the more ahead and ahead he gets. Yep. Probably one of the fastest farmers in the game if you just leave him alone like this. Up there with Naga. And checking out Cory's farm, he has um the relic. And relic done, and he's actually going to make a decent dent now towards attack. the recipe too. Yeah. And one of the advantages of Naga carry is that he farms so much faster than every other carry. Mm -hmm. So he's not... The Naga late game versus the Luna late game it's really hard to know who beats out bit, which uh, who who wins that, but Naga usually farms faster with the Radiance than the Luna, unless the Luna has insane amount of stacks everywhere. Yep. And Luna's Glaives also do quite well versus the Naga late game, especially once you get the MKB, once the Naga gets the Butterfly. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to determine who wins late game. Bloodseeker, the Rupture going through the DKB is quite big. Yep. I think that's going to be a quite a uh, quite a determining factor, as well as Aosin. And Aosin's still level 5. <laughs> still looking for level 6. Yeah, 15 minutes level 5. Um, I don't know why he's just not trying to leap the experience here. Maybe because he's afraid of the Nyx Assassin or something, but yeah, he needs to go up and get the experience. I'll tell you, like, coming back around to what you're talking about with the Naga Siren and the Luna, I think I actually prefer Luna in that situation because she has Ensnare, which go through, goes through BKB, which is kind of a big deal in and of its own right. But just as much as anything, she has Song. And once she hits uh, level 16, having that available in 60 seconds makes it so hard to reliably engage into her. And, you know, Eclipse damage does eventually kind of fall off. I mean, it's still going to be dangerous to supports. But BKBs, you know, all things being equal, I, I just like Naga better um, in the in a battle the six slotted. But, as but you said, the Glaives are kind of nice. I mean, another determining factor is the Enigma. I, I feel yep. late game, looking at the supports on um, site side, I'd have to say the Shadow Demon and Enigma are are really more, I think they're going to be more powerful than the tree and the, um, the disruptor. The yeah. tree actually, look at both of Zephyr's supports. Eosin just now just hit 6, five. and Purge is still level 5. Their supports are so under level. Looking at the experience graph, uh, like, uh, there's the, <laughs> they're, they're getting owned so hard in the experience right now. Uh, Zephyr is up 5k, and also looking at the gold graph, uh, Scythe is just um, farming insanely fast, uh, a lot more than Zephyr, so they're actually going for a rotation on mid. Yep, they're going to jump Pulse, and there's the blink and the disruption there to help him out. Scythe buying some time, Static Storms down with the kinetic field, though. He's going to try to TP, and nope, not enough time. Turn to actually attack towards the end, Aosin being tracked down now. There's the blink, they'll have a Malefus at the ready, not even going to need it. As the, well, no, they will, as the glimpse. Did take him back far enough, actually didn't think I was going to take him back all that far. Still stacking the Shadow Poison, and will get him finally as the Shadow Poison is detonated. So it ends up being a one for one, but that's still going to favor Zephyr as the Storm Spirit's much more valuable than a level 6. And now they're going to re-engage as they spot out Hana. And Storm coming back in, it's going to grab Blitz with the Vortex. Damage should not be a problem, not going to be able to get away. Good Impale from Hana secures it, and he actually gets that kill. Now they're going to spot out Purge, another Malefus from Chibix. Naga Sleep at the ready, and that'll be enough to allow Purge to make it back to safety and Cory. Heading to the high ground, Storm could jump. I don't think he had the mana, though. No, he would have had the ball as well. He wouldn't have the mana, but that was, uh, I mean, Zephyr got one kill, but then the Bloodseeker, the most farmed hero on their team, died. Yep. So that was definitely better for Scythe. And Scythe, I guess Enigma's output is that he's just going to go for the late game build. Usually want the mech to a 5 man early, but they kind of went for the slower approach. And once he gets the BKB and Blink, uh, they really is, I mean, it's going to be up to Bambo to really steal the, the black hole. And then, um... Without Bambo, if Bambo doesn't steal the black hole, I, re I really don't know what Zephyr can do. There are some, uh, the trio T can stop, but Purge is still not level six. The supports are so under leveled and under farmed on Zephyr's side. This is going to be a Radiance big problem coming up. These two supports need quite a bit of farming levels, and Nielsen, Zero and Four, they have no money to buy 
they barely have any money by Gorge itself. So. Up atop, we see a rotation. That'll be catching out Miracle. Great find if they can get it, and they will. As Bambo stole Lucent Beam and used it to secure the kill in conjunction with Aosin. Uh, the supports getting a lot of money and gold off that here in mid. Looks like they want to try to jump on Blitz. Unable to get the Vortex. Now they're just going to go for it under the tower. Two TPs coming in immediately. They don't have the damage to finish him off. Now they're going to try to turn it around. He is so low on mana, and he's going to die. So Scythe overextending a bit. And not done. There's going to be. Wow. What, what happened there? The, the Rubik didn't attack the... the Enigma after lifting wow. him, so he had the blink dagger still up on cooldown. Or it was up. That's and actually then, um, surprising. Yeah, yeah but shock. Enigma, he still has the black hole. Let's see if there's going to be a big, a big black hole here. And they're all grouped up. Oh, this would be such a moment. There's going to be a glimpse. If he's going to go for it, now's the time. It's right there. He's oh. going to go, and no! And a big missed opportunity as Scythe could have had one of the biggest plays yeah, of the, the entire tournament. There was no one, uh, the, Nick, the Luna was running up there. Mm. If he got the black hole, I don't know if the Luna would have been close enough to get the Eclipse off. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but I don't know what Scythe is doing. Like, Me either. They're they had, throwing they had the is what advantage. they're doing. Why are they just running in one by one? First off, Miracle's pick off here was really bad. I don't know why he died here. Mm -hmm. he, he had no BKB, Radiance and he was just playing so cocky up there, and he has no stack still. With, he has one stack in there. He has to. He was stacking, but he hasn't been able to farm it. They really need this BKB on Miracle. Or else they might be able to take it from him, even. Yep, and just with that, they get one tower. And looking at the goal graph, they're all, it's already he heading back in Zephyr's favor. And they have a Naga. And looking at Naga's stash, he has the attack. item that lets him basically be all, all around the map. He has the boot to travel. So this Naga is going to be... A, be playing a huge threat right now onto Sight's team. Radiance top tower yeah, with the boots, the, like that's kind of the thing. Whenever you see a Naga go this hardcore for boots to travel Radiance, you have every opportunity to prevent her from getting them up. But now at 20 minutes, as you said, having those up, it's going to be a, a, an uphill fight every inch for Scythe to be able to accomplish anything without losing their lanes, without Naga just getting an inordinate amount of farm and getting ahead of the Luna. We can actually see Naga has caught up with Blitz now on that Bloodseeker. They're now the two most farmed heroes in the game. Um, granted, it's not a huge gap and a huge fall off from them to Luna, but Scythe definitely can't afford to be uh, losing too many more towers or losing too many more fights. They are going to smoke Dyer's now through mid. That tier 1 still attack. standing, by the way. GG, Tree and Protector. And it's very, very... Uh, uh, oh, now they're going to find Bambo. He actually manages to make it away. Now Purge going to use the Overgrowth. That actually got three. Let's see if they want to re-engage. Blitz caught with the Vortex, and they want to try to get away, but Corey says no. Where's Singing him a song. Oh, there's no Destructor. And Hana. Will be the one who does get ensnared, the unlucky man left behind. The rest of Scythe has to scramble. Very nice reaction out of Zephyr across the board there, and Bloodseeker. In the meantime, manages to get himself a tower with his illusions down at bottom. Well played. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. Scythe, they're just, they're not making the right moves, I feel. They need to wait for the BKBs before they can do anything for Zephyr's item, uh, for Zephyr's, but they keep forcing the issue. And Shadow Demon's gonna die as well. Freed him down. I do want to point out, by the way, Blitz is saving up for something big. He's got 3,200 gold in the bank. What do you think is the right call here? Uh, let me check BKB or does it go for something snowballish? Uh, I really like Mjolnir on the Bloodseeker. Oh, I'd love to see that. Because I, I, basically his concept, he's going to just... Blade. Yeah, he's just going to... Oh, he, he goes for the Shadow Blade. I, I guess that's fine as well. Mm -hmm. I actually really like the Mjolnir on the Bloodseeker. Because he, he has a Blade Mail, and then once he gets the Mjolnir, he just puts the Blade Mail on him and the Mjolnir, and he just runs in. And wow, here's him going for it. Static Storm, but no, BKB threw it. Bit of a waste there. They're going to pursue him out and see if they can clean him up. He's being helped out by the tree armor, though. And that missed opportunity there. Not so much a missed opportunity so much as, I don't know, did he just not know he had the BKB or what? I think that's fine. They forced the BKB and they forced the rotation. And now they actually might kill Miracle. Yep, and there's the rupture. He's got Lucent Beam. They're going to try to re-engage and snare from downtown. Purge, though, going to be oh. caught out. There's the black hole they've been looking for. Going to catch three. Follow-up is not there, though. And Chibik's got hung out to dry and cleaned up on the back of it. Zephyr now being forced back. Blitz. Has two stacks of Shadow Poison. He's gonna just going to go for it, even though he has next to no health, and he survives because of it. Zephyr ends up going two for three in some bizarre circumstance where the Enigma hits the best black hole of the game, and they just couldn't do anything due to Disruptor's kinetic field. Well played. I mean, that was Miracle's fault again. He ran in, he had no BKB, and he, he they had no vision in their jungle, so they didn't know whether Zephyr backed up or not, mm -hmm. and he got ruptured. And then that was just him dying... He's basically all their damage around. Look at the storm. The storm isn't really doing much damage no. in these fights. He's going defensive build too. Yeah, he's going the kind of safe build because they have the silence and they have the disruptor ulti as well. So, yeah. Miracle has to be the one that's living in these fights because he's all their damage. Oh, Bambo with Blitz. 
Gonna silence out the storm, wow. and he is My Detskis. Street. Another big Street. kill for Zephyr. And I'll tell you, Zephyr is playing for nothing but pride, but they might also be playing Kingmakers at this point. If they can knock off Scythe here, that basically knocks them out of true contention. Now we're going to have them re-engage the pawn. Kinetic Field Static Storm goes down, and they will end up losing Blitz. Eosin could be the next target if they can catch up with him. Hana looking. Nope, he's got his Blink Dagger. Was on cooldown. Bambo moving south. Uses the Force Staff up in the ward spot. Impale. Oh. Nope, didn't even need it. So uh, Hana not letting him go without paying a price. So they end up trading the Rubik and the Bloodseeker for the Storm. Not the best there for Zephyr. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't really matter. Blood Zephyr's dying on the other side, the other team's side of the map. They aren't really losing any map control. They might lose mid tower, but the amount of farm that they're that the Naga's making, that the amount of farm that Naga's having while all these all these things are happening is just making up for it. Even if they die with the Bloodseeker and the Rubik, it's just fine because the Naga's Dyer's is farming everywhere. Tower. He's pushing he's out top lane, he's farming the entire jungle, Dyer's and there he might even be able to defend fortified. mid. Down the bottom, tier. we're going to have a jump. They're pushing the tier 1 bottom lane. Yep. There was a solo kill. Scythe was able to net, so Zephyr, just as it looked like they were beginning to roll, are beginning to give up a little bit. If they can keep this tier 1, the fact that this tier 1 has remained up so long is a miracle in and of itself. There's going to be a sleep, and they're going to teleport in to try and catch them. They've got three all grouped up in Miracle so low. Blitz is hanging around the back, and yeah, looks like they want to play it safe. The overgrowth is going to be used. Now Blitz is going to rush in. Looks like Miracle did manage to make it away. Freedom will be hit with the rupture. And I guess they were just f so fearing of the black hole, but is it even off cooldown? Yeah. Like, I don't know what they were so worried about there. I mean, I think it's fine. They got the kill. They still defended the mid tower, and Naga's farming still is insanely well. And looking at Blitz's net worth, he has the same net worth as the actual Naga. Yep. So, they're li literally, this is Zephyr's game to lose right now. Mm -hmm. They're so snowball out of control, and their lineup is a snowball lineup. Oh, for Bloodseeker sure. needs to do really well early game and make space for the Naga, which he did. And Blitz and Bambo are really playing the best right now. Look at, look at Bambo's farm. He was an offlane Rubik versus a Luna SD dueling. And he's, he has more he has as much farm as Miracle. Close to the same amount of farm. But he's literally 1k away. So Miracle is farming the stack that he has. But I, I still don't know what, it, what this is going to do. I mean, it's really up to um, Chibi on the Enigma to make the big play. He's going to have the big KB soon. But their play right now is they need a 4-man man, uh, Black Hole followed up by the Eclipse. And they need to take it. They need to take down all of Zephyr's heroes, including the Naga. <laughs> it's kind of amazing to sit here where we are right now, and talk about Zephyr and how poor of a performance they've had throughout the whole qualifier. But now they have a chance to really knock Scythe, who is a team that almost everyone picked in their top two to come out of this region. And just watching Scythe play, it feels like there's no communication. Is it just me? It just seems like everyone's kind of doing their own thing. Like, I don't see a lot of cohesive movement. Here and there, you'll see some nice responses, but for the most part, like you said, it's a lot of, a lot of weird pickoffs just about everywhere on the map. I think they're just really tense and frustrated right now because of their situation. I think this was the team that was favorited to win. Looking mm -hmm. at their players, X, X Freedom, yep. he's been at every TI, I think, except I don't know if he was in the first one. Yeah, oh. he wasn't at the first one, but he was at TI2 and he was at two, TI3. And they have probably the most, some of the most individually skilled players in... Um, in Southeast Asia, and then them being so disappointed in the Radiant's qualifiers, I think they're all at odds, odd, at odds with each other right now. And Zephyr, they have nothing to play for. I mean, they have nothing really on the line. They have no pressure. Playing so with house money. Yeah, they're just, they're just having fun and playing, and they're just playing well right now. They're, they're making the right moves. Yep, there's going to be a rupture. Miracle silenced out as well. Jumps there. Scythe managed to hit a decent impale on the Blitz. They should be able to bring him down. That's just going to be the Aegis, though, and they end up losing Hana because of it. Now re-engaging Miracle has his BKB activated. Blitz going to be back up. Nyx, the only one down permanently, at least for the moment. And Chibik still has his Black Hole. Did use his BKB that fight, unable to find. He can't, he can't use the Black Hole because he needs to use the Black Hole and get the Rubik in. Because mm -hmm. if he uses the Black Hole and he doesn't get Rubik in, they're just going to have Black Hole on the Rubik, and they're going to lose as soon as the Black Hole is... Uh, like, if Bamboo positions himself properly, he can actually cancel the enemy team's Black Hole with his own, but that's kind of difficult. Regardless, I don't think he wants to give the Rubik Black Hole. So this is an incredibly hard game for Digma. Uh, still, Miracle, he... he The Rupture is actually screaming quite hard. He had to use the BKB there, and he, was, he wasn't able to move because the Rupture goes through the BKB. So just... Again, I wonder what item Blitz has on his chicken. Yeah, okay, he's actually he's going to Mjolnir right now. So he's yeah. going to have the Maelstrom. And he's a little bit away from the, the Mjolnir, but once they get the bottom tower, they're going to be that much closer. Look at Cory's farm. He also he has the Manta up face up. And once they get this bottom tower, he's just going to TP top with the Blitz of Travel, and he's going to push that lane out and farm while he's farming the enemy's jungle. So 
I have no idea what Zeph Scythe can do right now to come back from this game. It just looks like they're they're playing against the odds, everything right now. They need to make a perfect play with Enigma, and it's just such a hard game for Enigma. I'm not going to blame Chibi if he mixes the, right. mixes the black holes. Because they have enough spells to cancel the black hole as well, even in the BKB. Yep, in Snare. Yeah, and in Snare, and the, the trio. Yeah. We, 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 we mentioned it in Snare. We haven't really talked about it as much attack. as perhaps we should have. In Snare, like you said, over there as well. There's going to be a glimpse, and he is able to blink out. So, no way to put it on cooldown. They lose the, the Tier 2 bottom at the same time. And Storm playing a little brave. Looks like he got ball lightning again. Nope, he got Remnant. Again, Storm, they wanted that they picked this hero to really do work in the early game. None. And I, I feel Storm is one of those heroes, I really hate going BKB first on him. Yep. I feel Storm isn't one of those heroes you want to pick to go BKB first. I think an intelligent hero that you pick to be go BKB first is like a Queen of, Cain, Queen of Pain. Because she has a mana pool to sustain several Screen of Pains and the ulti, but Storm is the hero you really want to snowball in the early game. I feel a Storm without an Orchid. Is literally just a useless hero. Maybe in some situations you can get the BKB. I've seen Dendi go BKB quite a few of times and he's done work. But in this situation, they really needed to steal the snowball. And he wasn't able to. He got ganked level 1. And it wasn't really his fault. And then he wasn't able to catch up. And looking at top, they're going to go, they're going to go on Cory. And he this does a big kill. This was a big kill. Yep. A very good kill for them. Just spin his gold though. And Manta. Now done. He's got 1,400 gold aside from him, but we can see the net worth is ballooning kind of out of control. I can't believe Bambo has managed to maintain his level of farm throughout this whole game. We are up to the, even despite that kill, we are up to the biggest lead of the entire game. The highest up until this point was Scythe with about a 5,000 gold lead. Now double that in favor of Zephyr. And uh, the experience has finally begun to normalize a little bit. We were talking about how big of a problem that was to begin with, but... Is there a point coming up soon where you think Zephyr might start to run out of some steam? I don't think so. I think they have the better late game. Just because of the changes to the Bloodseeker with the Rupture going through the BKB, which is kind of an old change, and the new even the silence that goes through the um, that goes through the spells. So it's like, how do they gain map control on Scythe? They get right. this pick off top, but what do they get off that? They they don't put a board top. They don't have a gem on their supports. They have no map control. I don't even think she lost on Reliable Gold. Like, I think she just it doesn't matter if yeah. Naga dies here, because he already bought his items. They have right. complete map control. They're not really able to get towers. Like, in the end, Dota's a game where you get the towers. And if you're not able... They have a tree on the other team. They have the Naga spamming out all the lanes. They have the Rubik to spam out all the lanes. Standing, yeah. That tier 1 was down to no joke 50 HP at one point. Yep, so it's, I just don't know what Scythe can do to push out the lanes right now. It's 14-18. We just crossed the 30-minute threshold. And Zephyr seems to be in control of Scythe's fate. And I say that that way intentionally. Zephyr lost control of theirs quite some time ago. A win here, nothing but a point of pride for them. For Scythe, though, it's everything. They need a win, and they're down to a desperate moment. Mjolnir done in full now on the Bloodseeker, and a Scepter picked up by the Rubik. Yep, this Mjolnir is going to be huge. He's just, he's just going to be able to run in with the Mjolnir and the Blade Mill on. And all the spell damage they have if their BKBs are down is going to do nothing. <laughs> And look at Nyx, He's, he went up there to put a ward. This ward is important. They need some vision in the enemy jungle. Because without the enemy, without a ward in the enemy jungle, they don't have the vision to get the pickoffs. Yep. I don't know if he's going to get picked off. No, he's going to be in the jungle. Uh, he's going to be in the corner. But still, um, checking Miracle's Dyer's farm. Tower yeah, I was actually wondering the same thing. Where he is in his item progression. Because, I mean, he's going to have to live up to his name. He's kind of got a yard sale going on right now. Yasha Helm of the Dominator. Just finished uh, his Manta style, though. So, looks like he found the missing pieces of the set. Hidden in some old granny's box, but um, and Le Zephyr at the moment. I mean, something that I think is going to be a big problem is now Naga Sirens level 16 too. How are you supposed to set up? And when you have these big initiators, like a Nyx Assassin who wants to use Vendetta, like a Storm Spirit, like an, an Enigma, and so on, how do you even hope to get them into a decent position when the moment you make a move, there's going to be a song, and it's going to be perpetually off of cooldown now. Like that, It's going to be off of cooldown by the time half of these fights end. I mean, the song, and then once the Naga also he has a heart suit if you check out his items, mm -hmm. it's literally impossible for them to, like, if they get the pick off on the Naga, which is going to be really hard once he has heart, if he just mantas as soon as they went on him and maybe just pops a song as, uh, as soon as the manta ends, they literally can't kill him. Like, the song is one of those spells, you know, that just kind of changes the how the game is played. It yep. just it just sets up everything. It sets up the team fight. It sets up the pace of the game. You can't really push into the Naga Siren Sleep. And another big item on the on uh, AOC, on Zephyr's team is going to be the Disruptor B the Ags, because this Disruptor Ags onto the um, oh, Naga. So yeah, you can't BKB out of it if you sleep and then you have the Disruptor ulti on the people. Yep. They can't do anything. Between the two, I mean, there are only so many abilities that actually you and can't check overlap. Out, check out the next he's done. Wow, he he was actually he just 
He took so much damage from trying to kill the Naga Illusion. Check that out. Uh, no! That's a disaster. That's one hero you can't afford to lose. And the poor guy is still looking desperately, hoping maybe he'll get an Orchid up. And uh, I'm totally on board with what you said, by the way. It, like, any hero can go defensive, any hero can build offensive. But there are just some that their innate skill set and their usage in the game dictates that you need to be active. And Storm's one of them. And going BKB first on Storm, what's the point? Yeah. I mean, Storm's one of those heroes right now that have not been picked much lately. Mm -hmm. Most teams, I think around two months ago, Storm was picked quite a bit. But lately, it just hasn't been picked. I think just because there are a lot more heroes, Dragon Knight's kind of been falling in favor as one of the counters, and Zephyr's actually just going to push mid, but they're, they're just forcing the issue right now because they know that I mean, they don't really have to wait for anything. They don't need to let Scythe get map control back. Just look how tanky the Nog illusions are. Here we go, Miracle going to be forced to use his BKB, eating a lot of damage, wow. gets off the Eclipse, but it just doesn't matter. He's dead. Black Hole's going to be there, but guess what? He whipped. Got one, and it was Eosin. He'll end up dead. No, and he actually look, won't. Blitz actually, and Bamboo actually has the Black Hole. Oh, did he get it? Yeah. He sure did. And there was a deny, actually. Didn't even see who denied. Bamboo wants them to bait. He's going to go in. I'm yep. waiting for this. There we go. They're all going to come in, and Bambo ready to land it, and will catch a 3-4. Wow. Got four of them. Bambo with the best black hole in the game, and he had to swipe it to get it. Now, though, the follow-up slow in the coming, and Bambo paying for his prices as the BKB is there. A pulse on the song, not enough to save his buddy. So Bambo went for the big play. He got it, but it was uh, a little <laughs> ill-timed. no damage again. It was like the second black hole in the game. Or <laughs> they got a good black hole, but there was no damage to follow up. Yep. So it was a sick black hole, but no damage, I guess. <laughs> so Zephyr knocking on the door, but not quite able to get their toe inside. That tier three remains standing. I mean, if Zephyr, if they really wanted to, they probably shouldn't have pushed the tower like that. There was no Aegis on them. They didn't even have Dyer's heart on the Naga. Oh yeah, attack. there was, a, I think it was on the chicken. Dyer's no, the, he didn't even fortified. have, he didn't have the gold for heart yet. And they just kind of YOLO pushed it without the BKB on the Bloodseeker as well. I think they're just kind of like, they have such a big goal lead still, even with those debts. Actually, it's not that big of a goal. It's 7,500. It was around uh, 9k, I think. But still, I mean, it comes down to it. It's a, it's a, it's a farm Naga. Yep. And the next farm person on the team is Zephyr's hero. Usually when you're on the... When you, when you, when, when you want to play versus Naga, you want the other team, the other heroes on the Naga's team to be not as farmed as him. But when you have, you're, when you're playing versus a farm Naga and they're the second person on the net worth is the... Naga's teammate, that's quite bad news, because Naga's, Naga's one of the heroes that kind of steals everyone's farm. Right. He steals the enemy's side of the farm, he steals your side of the farm, but looking at Blitz's net worth is so high, it's kind of scary right now for a Scythe. Such a good moment to make a reference, a tragedy of the commons. Yeah. She's definitely a tragedy of the commons hero. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, <laughs> hopefully some, uh, some, uh, economics nerds will get that joke it's somewhere out there. But, um, at any rate, Rose will be back up soon. And Zephyr, just looking to restabilize a schmidgen. Yeah, Roche going to be coming up in mere seconds, actually. And I, I mean, am I the only one who misses the old countdown counter, man, on the Roche pit? Like, I liked it. I, I, I knew how to read it. Like, this one, eh, eh like, I can kind of eyeball it. But I thought the old one was a bit more stylish. Zephyr, though, they think Roche is a good target for the moment. And they're ready to engage. Naga Siren has her heart up. She is going to be immortal. She is a Highlander now. And I don't know, man. Like, Scythe... I feel like every step of the way, Scythe has had a chance to get themselves back into this, but they've just missed opportunities. They haven't gotten nearly as much as they should have out of the storm. There's a big enough gap now between the Luna and the Naga Siren, just about 5k. Uh, now actually more than that, or coming up on uh, more than that. And I, it's just tough. It's just tough. Yeah, with the Aegis, now they're able to push. They probably should have waited for this before the push they pushed last time. Uh -huh. They should have waited for the Aegis. And Blitz is just going to regen up with the Bloodseeker passive on the Ancients. And um, let's just check out items, what items they're waiting for. They're waiting for the BKB on the Bloodseeker. He's around 1k away. And look at Scythe, they're pushing, they're doing the right necessary moves right now. They're farming the enemy team's jungle because they're afraid of their own jungle. One of the, the positives about Tree on your team is that he's kind of like in the late game, mid to late game, especially PPD plays like this. He's just always invis and he's just walking around the map. He's kind of just like this moving obsword. <laughs> right. And PPD especially, he buys a gem on the hero and you just go around de-warding, de -warding, breaking smokes. And if you ever die, it knows that it's like you take, it takes like maybe two or three heroes to actually kill the tree. So you know that when two or three heroes trying to kill the tree and you're on their side of the jungle, you know that your side of the jungle is free. So you can go farm that. It just 
one of those space taking heroes. I think that's one of the complexities of the hero that teams that besides you don't really use on the tree. Mm -hmm. This move, this, this moving war that just makes so much space and pressures the enemy teams so well. They actually know trees here. Yeah, because he walked through the static remnant. I was just going to mention that they miss him with the vendetta. They do manage to jump him. He's got some help thinking about heading that way, but decides to back out. So, a little bit of uh, bad luck for Purge I mean, in, that, in that case. I, I guess if, if you're in this train, you walk through a remnant, it kind of gives it away. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Just a smidge. By the way, uh, yeah, this, uh, I actually started to chuckle whenever you said kind of like a walking ops ward. I seem to hear tail, remember tale of you flaming someone and referring to them as a walking ward, as a flame. And uh, you're looking at me, so maybe it's just maybe it's Am a tall I, tale. I, I don't. I'm not a flamer. Oh uh, no! You know, you would oh. never, ever, I'm ever call someone. It was probably fear. Something man. mean. It was probably fear. It must have been. Yeah. It must have been. Maybe me, since I'm known for being so bad. But uh, Zephyr, ready to put this Aegis to work. It does seem, as they are heading down. Radiance By the way, while they're pushing this tower attack. uncontested, can we get a shot of the mid tier one? I would love more than anything to know Radiance how much top that tower, tower has, has been fallen. healed. I, I will bet you right now, I am putting faith in the Zephyr, that that tower doesn't drop by the end of this game. I'll bet you a shot. I'm off the mic after this. I'm done casting. Will you, will, will you do a snip snip? A snip snip? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> you, you got me and you confused, boss. Me and you confused. A snip snip. If this tower falls, you snip snip. A snip snip? Yeah. No, no, that's, that's, uh, that's all you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll drink booze. Mid bamboo. Eating a Malefus. Here comes Blitz, though. Got eyes on him, and... Oh, Blitz! Lost what? him in the trees! Blitz. Oh my Stay God. in the trees! Blitz, come on, man. Oh, hang on. Eosin right there, and he's got a BKB now. Eosin being a little over-aggressive. Blitz is there, though. Hits him with the rupture. Eosin, still alive for the moment. Does end up getting cleaned up. Bambo's there to try to help out once again. It's a one for nil trade so far, but Hana might be the next to drop in. Will. And end up trading the Naga for the Disruptor. Miracle, in the meantime, has been getting some farm going, but is just falling so far behind uh, that Naga Siren now. He's got nothing but a BKB, a Manta, and a Helm of the Dominator. I think this is where he just goes straight up Satanic. I mean, they need the damage. I don't, I don't know about the Satanic. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking uh, Butterfly. Yeah, you need the Butterfly. Yeah. I think the Butterfly is one of the good items on the Luna, especially because Naga isn't one of the heroes that go MKB. So definitely the Luna needs the Butterfly ASAP. And then, uh, I don't know, man, even with the butterfly, they just have so much to go through the BKB. And looking at this BKB, it's already down to it's down to six. Mm -hmm. And that's quite small if you think about it, especially because of the rupture. Yep. And they're just going to siege bottom lane with the Naga and the Manta lead. And look at Cory, he gets up to five, he's up to six K, yep. same farm. He is so far ahead. Yeah. He's like, yeah, six, six, seven K above. Disruption there. And Blitz. Banging away at the same time. Needs to be careful. The rest of the team backing out. Now we're going to have a jump. They're going to try to catch up. Blitz, here comes Purge. Four staff in. Good overgrowth. Static Storm only caught oh. no one, but the back hole is there, and they managed to catch three. One's dead. Eosin soon to join them. Bambo is down as well. Blitz back up with his BKB. Big whiff from the Disruptor that time. Eosin caught no one with the kinetic field static storm and now blitz likely to die from it as well good disruption from freedom to make sure they kept miracle alive and chipix gets it together at the moment they needed him most hits the best black he hole to get too yep that's insane that was cheap chipix the man the man of the hour what a sick black hole there that just i don't know if they, i don't know how much to extend or change the game but i mean it definitely gives them sight to miracle especially cuz miracle lived there i think that was so big look at miracle's gold he was, he's already up to 5k again, and he has an ulti orb on I wonder what item he buys. Maybe the Lincolns? I'm not sure for the rupture. That could be a possibility. Mm -hmm. I hope, I, I don't know if he, maybe he goes Scotty as well. I was thinking Scotty too, but it seemed like one of those things I'd say and then get flamed on Reddit. Right? No, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 we've all been there, man. <laughs> we've all been there. Oh, I live there. Don't worry. Um... <laughs> But <laughs> we'll see what it's going to be. Getting flamed on red, it's like the thing you know you're in, you know? Oh, you're, you're I've been in for a while. Good for me. No, not the tower! Save it! Zephyr, keep it alive. And looks like they will. Hooray. All right, now heal it back up. Get to work. Heal it up. Come on now. I don't know about the Scotty. But I think he really needs a butterfly. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it's, butterflies is one of the really good items versus mm -hmm. Naga because, like I said before, he's one of the carries that don't go on KB in that regard. So, um... There it is. Good job, Purge. BFFs. Purge. Purge Gamer. No snip snip. Yeah, Purge has been healing this tower all game, man. I feel so bad for Scythe. <laughs> this is one of the obnoxious things about playing versus Tree. You just, 
you, you can't poke at the towers. It's the most annoying part. You can't like when you siege towers, you need to get in one go. Yeah. If you let it, if you just let, if you back and you don't get the tower, it's full of you and you wasted all your time. Looking at Zephyr, they're just gonna push again. Yep. And this time, with the I think they need to be more patient. Well, they they the black hole's also down. That's one thing that you know Enigma is weak about. It. You know he has a long cooldown, and if you can push around it, it, they're missing a huge part of what makes them so hard to push into. They are gonna back out. This whole time, by the way, Storm is solo farming top lane. So he's doing his own work, and now he's going to go ahead and come they back. They can just keep sending Nagos. This is not enough this part. And since he has Butterfly and the Luna does not have the MKB. Oh, Blitz. Blitz. Jumped on. BKB's up. But there's the song. Blitz. No, does end up dropping because of the BKB on the Storm. And now he's slept. Let's see. Yeah, they're just going to try to leave, but they're going to be caught out from behind. Four Staff gets Corey back away. What did Bambo get? Managed to get Carapace. But the Eclipse goes off, and Zephyr could be in some trouble. Scythe. Chasing them out of the base, Bambo that time stole Eclipse, and now he's going to turn it around! Oh my god. Double kill for him, oh Chivix is about to drop fuck. two! He does make Holy it an Oprah kill! A rampage! Sexy shit. Bambo, you monster! A fight that looked lost, turned Holy around, shit. and Zephyr playing for nothing but pride on the back of the best offlane Rubik you've seen in a while. Looks like they're ready to take the win, they're going to get Miracle as well! Miracle! No, he's actually gonna turn around. There's a black hole that manages to get two! Make it three! Purge cut out! Bambo's gotta run! Miracle still fighting it out. He went for the Satanic, didn't even know he bought it. Corey, next on the list, and are you kidding me? What looked to be a moment when this game was done for good, and Scythe turns it around once again, picking up the item we both unanimously agreed shouldn't come into play, and here they go. No, not the tier one! Not that one! Yes, it's going down. It's no. It's going down, man. It's going down. Yes, yeah, right. Save it, Purge. It's, it's, it's Save going it. Down, man. No, Purge can't stop no this. No snip snip. Didn't make that bad. Pur Jeez. Purge cannot stop this, dude. It's down. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes. Keep it up. No. Keep it up. No. I won the bet. Ah, I finally won the no. freaking bet, man. Yes. Oh, oh you should. I'll take a shot later. Yes. Promises. Okay, but. You know, you know yes. Bambo right exactly, now? Exactly, of a perfectly family-friendly family drink. You know Bambo right now? I bet he doesn't give a shit if they won this game. Because he made that play. <laughs> exactly. He's one of those guys who's like, okay, I'll lose the freaking game if I make a play like that. He's one of those guys. So that was one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Well, I'll tell you what, that satanic certainly came in handy. He was dead for sure. Got some help, got bailed out. You know the out. big thing about that is since it upgrades the spell to the Ag Scepter, he had the Ag Scepter Luna ulti at level yes. 16, which exactly. is insane. Without that, I don't think they would have been able to kill as many people. And oh, Yosin. Detsky's. Nope, he's actually going to survive. Purge is going to end up dying. Looks like they wanted to pursue him out, and they did manage to get him back near the tier fours. And it looks like late game Luna's going to win out over late game Naga Siren. One rack's down, still Dota to be played. No GG's out yet, but it certainly looks to be in favor of Scythe, and there's going to be a rupture on the Chibix. <laughs> What's going and on, Blitz guys? Blitz moving back in. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> and Freedom. So Being pursued, right and Bambo's there. What? All right. What is going on, man? All right. It's, there's a what gem. Going on? Gem left on the steps. Roche is back up in 60 seconds. I, I got nothing, dude. I got nothing too, man. I got nothing. What is this? <laughs> I think I know. What? What? What's going on? Like Roche is gonna be back up. They're gonna have a chance. Why to did take they stay it. inside? They got the. What are they doing? <laughs> is this Scotty? Hey, it was Scotty. Get wrecked, Reddit. Um, <laughs> 31, 29, and Zephyr. It's ready. Okay, there's the buyback. And is Luna going to split push? She's heading up the top. There's a courier kill somewhere. I don't even know where. Corey's going to take the racks for free. And looks like Miracle's just cool. Just on a, now, now he's finally coming back. So. It's Rubik, though, man. Who got the courier kill? I didn't see it. Was that Bamboo too? It was, but what, I don't know. I don't. I, I didn't see it. I mean, I don't know, man. Bambo, what what a player! Looks like it died there. Imagine if Bambo was as consistent as he was, like legit. Yeah. What a player! He'd probably be the best player in the world. But then he wouldn't be Bambo, would he? Yeah, he wouldn't be Bambo. <laughs> Basher picked up on the blood sick. I think we're all just like. It's been so funny, by the way. Like, the mics are, are gated well enough that you guys can't hear it, but there's kind of a crowd in here that's all gathered around, and there was, like, this buzz. But over the last five minutes, it has gone to a absolute silence. Everyone's just kind of stunned at the way this is played Everyone's out. Everyone's kind of laughing, you know? It's, yeah. it's funny. This is a funny game. 
I mean, no one would expect this to go after the start, but yep. it's been hilarious. But uh, I don't know, Scythe, how are they going to deal? Like, it's up to that point where the uh, Miracle still doesn't have the butterfly. Yep. I still don't know if S Scotty does make him a bit tanky, I guess. Yep. That's the positive effect. That's kind of what I was thinking. And look at Perch, he's going to break the, f the smoke. Yeah, Perch broke the smoke there. Yep, he's forced that back to safety. Yep. So that was a really good play there from Perch that broke the smoke. Like you were saying, using him as a walking ward and not in the flame way. Yeah. And then Zephyr, now they're going to smoke. And Bambo going to lead the way. Of course he is. Counter smoke. He's and got Bambo ball has lightning. A this is a farm support Rubik. This, this support Rubik is as farmed as the mid storm spirit. He's thinking about it. He may have a chance to grab someone. Nope. Backing off and regrouping with his team. It's one racks for one racks. Mid racks down on both sides, so a wash there. And we'll see if they're going to decide to push here. Roche is up, and it is cheese. This is the third Roshan of the game. And in go the Eidolons. And they're just going to go for it, it looks like. Uh, I don't know. Um, the Enigma. Oh. Sounds like they just caught up. We can actually hear them hollering through the house. So it's going to sound, it sound like they just caught up with us in the couch stream. Yep, there it is. There's a disruption. Hold that thought. Miracle coming in. And let's see if they're going to try to engage out. It's nothing but illusions at the moment. The slow sieging this. I want to see another Eclipse Steel AC. Oh, dude, I want to see. I, I, I want to see an Eclipse Steel followed by Black Hole Steel. Like, that would be so legend. Oh, like, Bamboo so would be the, a legend. He would go down as B-God. Like, or S-God, whatever. I don't that's know. what I called Ben earlier. Yeah. What, B-God? B-God, yeah. I can't call him M-God because that's Charlie. Yeah, true. M-God Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> true that. True that. <laughs> Zephyr. Still knocking on the door. Rattling their sabers, actually. Saw someone tweeted at me and said they haven't heard me say that once. And that's for you, whoever that was. Can I hear a hammer thrown down? Somebody's got to drop the hammer first, dude. Yeah. You can't just be Who's casually dropping, dropping, the dropping the hammer. Is it Aosin's game? Dropping the static storm? That's not, the that, storm? No, no, that's not violent enough. It's got to be like violent abilities that have like it's a, a nice kathunk to them. Or like a, a nice like, a five uh, man oh, Nixon pale? Is that a, is that a drop? No, hammer? like Sanity's Eclipse. Um, um, uh, reverse polarity is a good one. Like, literally, because, yeah. Enough about that. How about we talk about this awesome game of Dota that's actually in front of us? 50 minutes in, and we still see Zephyr trying to push in. There's going to be a sleep. The Disruptor ulti. The Disruptor ulti. That's so big. The axe. They're going to kill Miracle with the Disruptor ulti. Yep, there you go. And they got to focus him down. Miracle's so tanky, though, because that's Scotty pickup. There's a nice disruption to save him. Will it be enough? He's going to be able to make it out. There's going to be the lift from Bambo and Snare Satanic, there to keep Satanic, it down as well. Satanic, Satanic, Satanic. Can they get him? Miracle oh. right on the edge. It does end up dropping. Blitz very low. Has to run, but X Freedom dies as well. And we have to see the Storm Spirit jump back to the base. Buyback immediately from Miracle. And we see the Glyph deployed as well. They want to extend this fight. Chibix coming out. Has Black Hole at the ready. Watch them spread. Doesn't want to get too close. Eosin. Locked down, he may end up cleaned up. BKB up on Bambo, he's looking to punish Chibix if they can. No, never had a chance. Don't know if he has buyback or not, but Corey now tanking up. Nice telekinesis. Stuns both of them. Miracle trying to make it away. He's going to deploy the Eclipse and it was Bambo stolen again. Bambo got it one more time. Wow, what a player. Buyback on the storm. And he ends up actually glimpsed back. Is that what happened? Yeah, Bambo actually had a sick force. Oh, he's going to come in. They have no health. Blitz. Likely to die. Corey actually makes it away wow. and Vaughn. No! Oh. Bambo! With what could be the kill that seals the deal. What a player. MVP Sexy Bambo. As the second set of racks drops. We got two heroes down for more than 100 seconds. They're going to be able to rotate up to top as one of the ones still standing is Naga Siren. What a game. And if this ends up being a GG, Scythe, for all intents and purposes, sees their chances at post well, I shouldn't say post-season, but post-group uh, stage play evaporate as well. Uh, no X Freedom in the eye. Radiant's top barracks are under attack. Oh, what, a, what, a, what a game. I didn't expect Radiant's this. Man. Zephyr, has fallen. they play there. They just had fun this game. Oh, yeah. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. The Dyer Looks like Mega Chiefs. Mega Chiefs. Megas are out. And no GG yet, of course. No reason for them to. They're going to fight this out as long as they can, it would seem. I mean, they can just run back in. The Naga has... He doesn't have bots up yet. He has a defuser all the way, too. They can just keep running at the towers. I, there's literally no way that Scythe can come back from this. I don't think you can counter-push the Naga Siren. He's just going to keep sending illusions in one by one, and all your towers are going to go down and eventually be thrown. So... Um, <laughs> yeah, just, just kind of scattered about. No worries. 
an afterthought. Say right now, Zephyr quite happy with themselves. Scythe, you think this is a moment when the team's fighting amongst themselves? No, they're just having fun, man. No, Scythe. Oh, Scythe? Sorry. Um, yeah, they're probably mad. <laughs> or, I'm not mad, they're probably just like... They realize they're what's a little happening. Salty? It's a little like, salty? When, once you... They probably just realize, oh, their dreams are crushed. It's a sad feeling. I had that today. We love you, buddy. We love you, buddy. But you're still going to Seattle. Going Come to on Seattle. now. Sorry, I'm overreacting. There are tears on the on the desk in front of him. You can't see it. Really? <laughs> Wasn't something else? No. Oh, but uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes. All right, Zephyr looking to take another Roshan. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> loses. It. Takes a minute for the joke to land. Don't know if it's lack of sleep or what. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Losing it over on the other end of the desk. Roche gonna end up dropping. And in about two minutes, we're gonna start hearing the hollering from the other room again. It says he's always still. The yeah. lurch or something, they call it? The what? When the, the game, lurch. like, suddenly, when you know it's over. No, I'm talking about just whenever they get to Bambo oh, okay. making plays again. But I, I don't know you can do that clip steal here, though. You totally. it, was so it was so sick. It was. It was so good. Yeah. Alright, they're gonna collapse again. Um, I mean, this game, pretty much over. I mean, you can't say it's over till it is over. But more or less over. What, in a few words, do you think could have been adjusted by Scythe to make this more in their favor and giving them a chance coming down the stretch? I think first Miracle, I think he had a lot of deaths early game. He should have been playing a bit more passive and had the Shadow Team camp him early. Mm -hmm. And I think Storm's there. Storm just didn't do anything. Just, They're they going to engage course. on the Cory in the mid since right there. And that is one tanky Naga sign. One tanky, tanky nine sir. Just heard a demonic purge on a blitz. Blitz did pick up an abyssal, by the way. So BKB is not nearly the deterrent they once were. And they're going to push in with this next wave of mega creeps. Naga Song on the ready. If they want it, Bambo locked and loaded and ready to be Bambo again. Ready to add to his highlight reel. And this has been a game full of them. This is a game for his highlight reel. Yeah, this is like this yeah. whole game is yeah, a Bambo this highlight. YouTube video on this run. Like, this run gonna There's a song. Hana going to be the one caught by it. Miracle as well. Yosin moving into position. Static Storm as well as Kinetic Field. They're going to go to work. Miracle losing a lot of health. Here's Chipix though. Chipix didn't, didn't see... Yeah, he actually got caught by the Overgrowth. He didn't deploy the Black Hole yet. Behind that though, Blitz in some trouble being kited very effectively. He's likely to die here. It is getting help from Purge though. And the GG's will come out as Corey secures a couple of kills. And Bambo actually finishes with a double kill on top of everything else. The Ancient Blows and Scythe for all intents and purposes. I'm pretty sure is now mathematically eliminated from the second half of our qualifier. They're going to be going home very disappointed. It's one thing to lose your chance. It's another to come in touted as almost a sure thing top two and lose this mini series. Such heartbreak for them, but Zephyr and Bambo, man, I think it's uh, high five and pound uh, some monster energy time, right? Yes. I mean, <laughs> what else can they really do? They're out of it as well. I mean, they just had fun. It's a fun game. Yeah, I mean, and really, the, really, can't ask for a better way uh, for them to. I think they might have one more game actually, but getting down to the end of their schedule, and they get a bright point. And uh, welcome in, of course, LD and Gods. And this place got crowded coming down the uh, coming down we, the stretch. Everyone wanted to come in. And we see. had like twelve people in here, and yep. this is <laughs> the other games that ended a bit early as well. And we have some extra guests uh, visiting from mm -hmm. the, the Liquid Boot Camp. Everyone wants so. to see Zephyr play, man. Yeah, the American qualifiers are over, but the American support's still there. Mm -hmm. so. Oh yeah. Um, it was it was a it was a fun game. That was a fun game. <laughs> it was fun for Zephyr, but yeah. man, Scythe have been the disappointment of TI so far. That was oh, their no last doubt. hope. Like they win that, then they go into their last match against Arrow, which is obviously a near impossible match, but yeah. if they win that they're in the tiebreakers and what? Wait, wait, so Scythe still have a chance for no, they, not anymore. No, if they done. won this they had a chance. But yeah, they would have needed help from, you know, like other teams, the results go a certain way. Now they mathematically are eliminated. Yep. That was they lost so many games that, frankly, they if they played better, they would have won. And yep. if they played like they had been a, few, a month ago, they, I still think, would have finished top four. But other teams stepped their game up. Scythe just did not execute. And Actually, it's surprising because they have some of the most talented players in the qualifier. Or at least they've shown talent in the past, but oh yeah, not here it for It seemed this. like chaos in their game. I just don't think anyone's on, this, on the same page. People yeah. were just dying left and right. There was no real communication. It's partly their play style. Like, they're always very, like... People off doing their own thing. Like their core here is always split pushing. They're always off in different parts of the maps, and it's the support jobs are kind of like 
create some space at And times, X Freedom, but... like a great example of a support that'll just go off and do his own thing. I mean, this is a guy who's one of his signature plays was as a tree ant protector, like getting a quelling blade and you know, Demon <laughs> Dota style, just eating his way through the trees to backstab for overgrowth, which right. yeah. can be awesome, but also sometimes like it's a little bit gimmicky and does hurt the team. Yeah. So. Well, Bambo, I think the man of the hour. Yeah. Yes. And YouTube videos, man. No <laughs> Bambo TI, though. Show enough. Unfortunately. It's a sad day. Sad game. Yeah. But guys, I think we've got, after a long match, I think we have to hop into our next lobby pretty soon. So we're going to go to a break. We may have a look at our brackets after we come back, uh, the standings after we come back from break. But for now, guys, you're watching the TI4 qualifiers powered by Monster Energy. Don't go anywhere.